Larry Darnell Hughes Sr. on January 23rd, 1979. So what is stunted growth? Many have the idea that it somehow only means you were expected to have become something that eventually you didn't. Instead, wound up becoming a bust, trash, or washout who never got started. Keyword, only. It doesn't only mean that. A person who's been prevented from growing as expected can still turn around and find late growth spurt where everything comes together, enough anyways, to not turn out so bad. And this is that gray area I continuously found myself in when researching and remembering Larry Hughes. His name has come up time and time again, and I couldn't figure out how to tell his son at growth story and do justice to the person and career he had, and also the fans of his that expected more from the prize of St. Louis. So hours of thinking about it, falling asleep watching his interviews, and looking at stats to find holes in his game, I came up with this summarization of Mr. Hughes. Was he expected to become a better player than he was? Yes. Was it fair to have asked him to be? Yes. Based on the talent he had, mixed with the opportune start being the eighth overall pick. Was he a disappointment? Depends on how you look at it. From the viewpoint of anyone that knew him before the stardom as a young kid from St. Louis that was never really expected to make it out, just as the countless names before him that didn't, he actually became everything to that community. Looking at it from his perspective, as he explains, he never expected to become this great basketball player that grew up watching and wanting to be like the greats. He just wanted to help his little brother who dealt with a medical condition that required a heart transplant and give his mother something to clap for and be proud of. For those being his motivations to play, how could he ever be considered to not have met expectations? But just as those are important, the one the fans share is as well. He was a one and done player. He was a top 10 lottery selection. He did have the skills, size, and opportunity to be great. He was around some of the game's greats that should have propelled his want to be the same. With all that, he was never an all-star, never led a team to playoff success, and some would say never lived up to what his potential suggested he could have. Here are three reasons why. It's your boy Jay-Z stunted growth. Ash, get it, man. Larry Hughes was a 6'5 shooting guard from St. Louis, Missouri that was a state champion in high school as well as McDonald's All-American. He chose to stay close to home and family and attend St. Louis University where he was the freshman of the year and a one and done player. What's up guys, become a patron now. There you can find exclusive workouts, move breakdowns, and tutorials to help your development in certain areas. Also receive consulting each week with me where I help break down your game and build you into the player you want to become. Patreon.com slash growth for more. Link is in the description, enjoy the video. Start number one, mindset. The first reason many believe Larry Hughes didn't become the player they expected him to be, in my opinion, was the mindset he had all throughout his basketball career that was never set up to allow him to have the want to be what everyone expected him to be. Mindset as it pertains to basketball period is very important because it can literally make or break your chances, as seen in my personal stunted growth story and in contrast a feature like Troy Bell. As mentioned earlier, Larry didn't grow up a huge fan of the greats like Michael Jordan or Larry Bird. He simply realized he had a talent that could one day take him out of the situation he and his family were in, put a smile on their faces, and allow him to live a comfortable life. So when he eventually got to the league as a 19 year old, there were no plans laid out where he was going to be this player at this point or that player at that age. He just hooped and that's cool. As a rookie, he struggled to find his way behind the glory that was Allen Iverson, 
who was only a few years away from becoming the league's most valuable player. In 20 minutes a game, Hughes averaged 9 points, 4 rebounds, and 1 assist while shooting just 15% from 3. Not exactly lottery pick numbers and not exactly meeting the sidekick expectations Philly had for him when they took him over names like Dirk Nowitzki and Paul Pierce. In his second season with the team, he was traded after 50 games in a three-team deal that brought in Tony Kukoc and sent Larry to Golden State. The GM at the time said the team needed another scorer to take pressure off Iverson and an experienced player in the playoffs, two things Hughes wasn't providing as yet. Eric Snow and Iverson in the backcourt proved more productive than AI with Hughes being another crucial reason. It was the early beginning of his journeyman career that not many expected on draft night. Many believe Hughes simply wasn't ready at that point and should have never left St. Louis early for the NBA, but I disagree. He had a very important family decision to make and he was ready physically. I just don't think his mindset was that to come in and be what they wanted, which he'd immediately adjust to upon getting to Golden State, where he averaged 23 points the remainder of the 99-2000 season. Stunt number two, shooting guard. Term used very lightly at times to describe a position on the basketball floor. Its name suggests it's a player that can and is probably the best shooter on the team. But really, it means a guy that's mentally wired to score the basketball more than look to pass it, that is also most times big enough to guard bigger backcourt positions. In Larry's case, this couldn't have been better fitting. One of Hughes' bigger problems over his career that didn't allow him to become the player many wanted him to was because as a shooter he wasn't that big of a threat. Instead, he made most of his production as a slasher and playmaker for himself getting to the rim or a smooth mid-range pull-up that he was pretty good at. Problem is, he played on so many teams with guys that needed that space to get into the same spots Larry wanted, or spots his defender would camp out at because he wasn't a deep ball threat. LeBron, Arenas, Iverson, Jordan, those guys needed a bigger three-point threat alongside them to have optimum success and not a player that causes the lane to clog with either his own play or cheating defender guarding him. Larry didn't shoot at least 30% from three in his first four seasons in the league, and when he was able to shoot in the 30s, it still wasn't something he found comfort in more than slashing or shooting the mid-range. For his career, he shot just 30% from three, so with the teams and players he played with, it didn't present the best combinations and was one of the reasons he was moved around so often. Stunt number three, injury. Yes, the dreaded redundancy of stunted growth. At this point, it's best you don't focus on the topic and instead see the reasons his injuries happen to give you a better perspective on why he wasn't or didn't live up to the expectations, and for some, how you can avoid similar instances if you can. With that said, a main reason Hughes didn't always fill out his potential was because for a lot of his career, he was simply not healthy, and it led to streaky production. In his 14-year career, Hughes only played all 82 games one time, which was his second season when he was traded to the Golden State Warriors. His rookie season was an NBA lockout shortened 50 games where he led the league in games played, playing all 50. But outside of those, he hasn't seen fully healthy seasons and it caused his production to be sporadic and highly inconsistent. His best season came in 04-05 when he averaged 22 points a game and led the league in steals at 2.9 for the Wizards, in which many think he should have been an all-star. That followed with him signing with the Cavaliers to be LeBron's sidekick and immediately dealing with more hand injuries that once again held him back. Foot, finger, 
hand, and many other small nicks and knacks hindered Hughes and in his own words prevented him from becoming the best he could be. All in all though, Larry Hughes was a very talented player that accomplished what his goals were and that was to help put a smile on his family's faces and help his community which he did and continues to do to this day through his basketball academy and the work he does with his mother helping families dealing with illnesses that require organ transplants. He's highly respected in his hometown and in the basketball world even if some call him a bust or underachiever. To me, he was just Larry Hughes. He made it, got his bread, helped his people, and that in itself should be highlighted. But for these reasons, his basketball growth was stunning. It's your boy JC Stunned Growth, and I'm out.